See, God knew he knows the one thing you need to do to propel you into the future. I still normally bowl 150. He bowls 230. See, a generation excelling into a new place. All because one moment we determined our future. Now hear what I'm saying to you. A meeting like this is very important. You have to say, Lord, now what do we do to advance? We've gotten to this place. What do we do to move forward? How do I move? Doesn't matter how old you are. See, it's not linked with age. Doesn't matter how young you are. It matters with us aligning at the right place at the right time so we're all liberated to move forward. Let's look at the next thing. See, here's the way I see Malaysia. It has this window of heaven over it. It's not just your jubilee time. It's your moment in time. It's your kairos time. And do you know when you're part of a territory and it's your kairos time, all of a sudden, you, God's going to come down and meet with his people first. He's not going to meet with people who don't know him. He's not going to meet with the people who are resisting him. He's going to meet with you first. He's going to start moving upon you personally. He's going to start moving on you corporately. He's going to start moving you into a new dimension of understanding so you know how to move into the future. These next two weeks are very, very important here in Malaysia. Actually, the next three weeks. The next three weeks start determining the course of how you'll move next year. That's why I felt, Dexter, it was very important I come back here right now. Because, see, next year you're going to be a nation that we must pray for. You're going to be a people who are setting the course. You're going to have a lot of unusual happenings in this nation that brings you to attention. Of the world. This nation is not like other nations. And let me show you this. See, that's what this sword, why right now is so important. The word of God is coming down to you right now. It's dividing asunder soul and spirit. It's causing things to the left to be cut off. Causing things to the right to be cut off. See, one of the things the Lord showed me is that there was a movement coming from the right filled with divination to try to stop you from being creative to advance. He showed me there was a movement coming from the left trying to set an order that was not his plan of order. And God says, right now, I'm raising a people up through this narrow place. I'm moving on you personally so you're filled with faith. So a new faith dimension is an operation in you. So you advance in a new way. Because this is a time that I'm pouring down on you. I'm moving on you. Now, at this time, we need to see the greater purposes of God that he has. This is what the Lord spoke to me. This is where it became very important for you today. During, when I was seeking the Lord this morning for you, he said to me, See, that's why it's easy for me to travel. I don't get a lot of jet lag because I'm always up between 3 and 6. See? And he was saying to me, he said, the conflict has begun, but tell my people to open their eyes how I have greater resources for them than they know. I have greater revelation for them. 
very important time. In other words, it's time that right now, the transforming power of God starts making his people into what they need to be for the future. Where religion begins to fall off of us in a new way. Where we begin to say, Lord, you must empower us for days ahead. You must anoint us for the days ahead. You must give us strategies. I think I've got a book out there called Prayers That Will Outwit the Enemy. You must give us strategies greater than the enemy's strategies. The next generation must align. There's three generations that must align here in Malaysia right now. And move forward. Because... This is a time that you can begin your process of overcoming all. Now hear what I'm saying to you. And though you feel like you are a minor force in this nation, God said tell them to open their eyes. They have a greater influence right now because I'm putting a new mantle on them than they know. I'm going to begin to use them in peculiar ways. So the entire world take no, takes notice of the changes that start next year in Malaysia. Now, I don't know what this means, but here I want to say this prophetically to you. The Lord told me there are two pillars in this land that must shake and fall. And the Lord says, I'm going to give my people strategy to push those pillars down and watch them fall. Then a new foundation's coming into this nation that will and has not been seen in other nations. Now hear what I'm saying to you. It's a call to intercession. It's a call to awakening. You're going to have to take and move in worship with the sound of Malaysia in all 13 states. You're just not going to move into your next prayer movement here. You're going to move into a worship movement that, that just accomplishes and encompasses this nation. The sound of worship is going to start penetrating the atmosphere of every state in this nation. Many of you will come just to receive a worship anointing, then go back to where you came from. There's a new move of God going to come on worship in this land. The worship movement is now going to begin. And he says, tell my people to see into a new dimension. To open their eyes because even though there's great conflict over this nation, I have the host of heaven that's coming to interact with you. See, that's why the Naaman thing is so important this year. I didn't make this connection until this morning. I've been teaching about Naaman all year long because it's a pattern of dunking seven times and coming up free. But the Lord this morning showed me why it belongs here. Let's end this session with 2 Kings chapter 6. Now this is where Elisha, every time the Syrians begin to move, Elisha knows their movement. He tells the king of Israel, this is what the enemy is planning. Number one, God says he is setting his people in this jubilee year to know the enemy's plans. 
Now remember, that's going to work personally, corporately, territorially, and generationally. Remember, Naaman had to interact with Elisha. See, there's an Elisha 